on the morning of November 14th, 2006. Amateur filmmaker Jake Walden was found dead in his apartment, a single gunshot wound to his head. Next to his body were found a 9mm handgun and a note. Due to the nature of the wound and the contents of the note, authorities were quick to label Jake's death as suicide. Many of his friends and family, however, do not believe that it was suicide that took Jake from them. They believe he was murdered. They believe he had discovered a secret so sinister, so earth-shaking, that certain groups were willing to kill to protect it. This is his story. Mr. Owl, how many lifts does it take to get to the tooth center of a toothy paw? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. All right. The first thing I remember hearing about this project was Jake telling me that he wanted to make a documentary about the significance of the stars on Tootsie Pop rappers. He wanted to find out what they meant. And it's got the Indian kid shooting at the star. He wanted to know what those meant. So he asked me to shoot it for him. Jake had been doing some research online, trying to find out if the company had actually ever given any rewards for finding the star, but he didn't find anything. Oh, I told him it was just an urban legend. Yeah, of course he didn't believe me. Since the company started producing Tootsie Pops in 1931, rumors have circulated as to the significance of the star. Some say that every rapper with a star could be redeemed for a new lollipop. Others said that the finder would be enrolled in an annual drawing for $1,000. Despite the fact that no winner was ever announced, and that the company dismissed the notion, the rumors persisted. So, the first thing I did as producer was, well, buy Jake a lot of Tootsie Pops and help eat them. <laughs> we sent in a few of the rappers, but we didn't get any response. So after sending in five, and then sending in 20 with no response, we decided to try to get their attention. And so we got a box and just filled it. Turned out to be about 250 rappers. They got a response all right. Two days after sending the package, they got a letter. Two days. Yeah. I still have the letter. It was among Jake's personal effects when, when the coroner took him. As you can see, no company letterhead. Walden, seriously. Cut it out. This naturally made Jake more curious. So he started doing interviews with anyone who might be considered an authority and, you know, stuff. This, of course, means college professors. You would spend more money mailing the wrappers off to the Mars company, whoever makes those candies. Why would you send wrappers in an envelope with a stamp when the total value of that is more than the cost of the Tootsie Pop you'd get in return when you could buy that at the store. If you just look at the words, Tootsie Roll, if you just take those words and, and you, you take out all of the letters that have been doubled, you're left with four letters. S-I-R-E, Sire. I think there's something to it. About the same time, Jake started posting online in just about every message forum, telling everyone about the letter. I liked that a lot. It meant less professors. Jake soon made an online contact, going by the name of Teddy Ruxpin, 01. Teddy Ruxpin told him he knew something that would be of interest to him, and he said they could meet in person. Jake and I were going over some footage one night, 
and we hear a knock on the door. The more those in it. Wrong? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what is it? I'm coming with answers. Oh, shit, shit. it's Teddy Ranch. Did not show my face. Hi. Hello, Jake. Who is that? That's that's just my cameraman, Matt. Matt, you need to set up a curtain for this interview. Now. Okay. 